So, Anthony Riley, a guy who has such a long track record of being dishonest, lying, being wrong about everything, misrepresenting what other people say and do, that he's earned himself the title of Anthony Liley, has taken it upon himself to start pulling some of his old tricks again and accusing other people of being liars which is really just an underhanded tactic that he uses to try and undermine other people so that their opinions might not be taken seriously when they come after him or when they debunk him or show him to be full of shit or whatever. Now, this is actually something that he's done for a long time, but recently it has ramped up a bit coming out of the Flat Earth Debate bullshit show with Nathan Oakley the devious, underhanded snake that he is, who recently accused Jem of a, quite a serious criminal act. Now, I don't want to get into that stuff too much, but the point is is that this has been a thing lately. There's been more of this, the, the accusations getting thrown around. And yesterday, Anthony did two videos. One was the re- with regard to some background audio in a hangout with Geostreber quite a while back. And I'm not going to talk about that. The second one was with a user called Jimmy. And it was involved in a discussion to do with the astronomical unit, the distance to the sun. So he's come after Jimmy as well as Geo. Now, although I don't want to talk about the situation with Geo and the background audio for this video, I want to talk about the thing with Jimmy. Um, The other video that was made about Geo does serve some purpose because he opened it up with reference to the previous accusation that was made towards Geo, which was part of the Gem Panda accusation and Geo was talking to Nathan about that on his show. So as part of this conversation, what we get here is one of the examples of what these clowns are doing. They're just playing stupid word games. Somebody uses the wrong word and purely through misunderstanding, intentional misunderstanding, misrepresentation, semantics, whatever you want to call it, they will then turn around and accuse that person of being an outright liar, which of course is absolutely ridiculous and childish. And anybody who takes that seriously is a fucking idiot, okay? But we're going to have a quick listen to this just to see what I'm talking about. You can see in the first 10 seconds what the issue is. You state as a fact that Jem Panda's actually looking for addresses for like no, anything. Uh, excuse me, I have never said that. I have never ever. Why are you accusing me of this? That's an outright lie. No, what's happened there? It's very simple. Geo said looking for addresses. And Nathan turned it into, oh, that's an outright lie because Geo made a slight mistake in his choice of words. He said addresses when what Nathan actually said was looking for details of children. So, it's just a fucking word game. It's ridiculous, right? Really, really stupid, childish stuff. But this is what these guys do. Because, at the end of the day, they are fucking jokes, they're charlatans, they're liars, they're pieces of shit, and they've got nothing to show for a couple of years of being so-called flat earthers. They've got fuck all to show that the earth is flat. So this is what they have to do. They've went from the old tactic that every one of them do, which is trying to question the globe and undermine the globe. And now they've went to, oh, we're just going to attack actual people. So this is how fucking desperate and pathetic these guys have gotten. Uh, Don't want to get too much off into the, the actual subject of what a bunch of idiots they are with regard to their general approach. I want to stick to the the main point here is what this this whole thing that they're doing with the word games. Okay, so they're taking the slightest little thing, the slightest little slip up, and trying to turn that into this big massive accusation of somebody being a liar. And it's, there's certain irony in what happened with Nathan and Geo because Geo said one wrong word. They said addresses instead of details. Nathan tries to make some big fucking deal about that, and. <laughs> the whole accusation that he levelled at Jem stems from him 
completely misrepresenting the words that were used by Jem and what his purpose was, and etc. Now, this all plays in to the actual accusation level that Jimmy and the information you're going to see to show why these guys are not only full of shit, but they're complete hypocrites and going by their own standards, they are also liars. Here is yet another example of a baller telling lies, this time caught red-handed live on the Hangout. Jimmy was reading from a citation on Wikipedia about radar astronomy, and I happened to have it on screen at the exact moment he was reading, and I just so happened to be looking at the exact line he was reading from at the time he was reading it, and I called him out on it immediately, because he read from the uh, citation, but then added his own little bit that didn't appear in real world. No. That does sum up pretty much what happened, and we're going to look at the actual hangouts in a second. So, just to recap, Jimmy was reading a site, uh, from an article regarding radar astronomy, and he read what it said, and then added in his own little tuppence worth at the end. And this is what this absolute clown is claiming as a lie. Nathan jumped on it as well, we'll hear all this in a minute. And I'd also like to point out that, you know, in typical Lily style, he can't help but try and dress things up. He tr makes it sound as if he just so happens to be looking at the article. He was looking at the article because he had specifically forced Jimmy to try and produce a citation and Jimmy had shared the article in the side chat. So it's not just some bizarre coincidence and he just happened to catch him out in a lie. It's a load of bullshit. Uh, so anyway, we look at the actual debates themselves. Um, so Nathan has taken to doing like two shows with a gap in between. So I'm actually going to play these in reverse. I'm going to play the second one first and then go back to what happened at the end of the first one just to prove the point that these two fucking clowns who are going around calling everybody liars, their basis for calling people liars is just shitty wordplay. It's really childish. But on top of that, they're actually guilty of the exact same thing themselves. So... This is the part where Jimmy reads out his citation and throws in his little bit at the end. Prove your assertion. Astronomy is a technique of observing nearby astronomical objects by reflecting microwaves off target objects and analysing reflections. This is how they measure the distance between planets. Where does it say that? And one of the links are put in. Where? That's not what you... When you were reading then, that's not what it said. What? Where does it say that about measuring the distance of planets? Oh, that's, that's that's what my uh, addition to that was. Right, so that was not in the citation. Sorry, you did, did, that in yourself. What did he just say? That was my addition to that. Yeah. yeah. Is that was that were they your words? Uh, that yeah. was your addition. Can you just hold on? Yeah. I want to know what that means. What does that mean, Jimmy? Your addition. It, it means it wasn't in the citation. No, no, not you, Anthony. And I, you. I read one sentence and I added a tiny bit extra. Is that is that a worst crime ever? So yeah. what you mean is you you took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. Now, I'm just going to stop it here briefly to point out. You can see what's happening here. Just bullshit. They're badgering them because he added in a little comment of his own saying this is how they measure distance to planets. And then Nathan specifically says to him, so you took the text and quoted it out of context, which is exactly what he did to Jem Panda. But what he did was much worse because he made a criminal accusation against him. So... We've already got some hypocrisy here, and you can see they're just playing on silly word games. The guy quoted his citation and then put his own little opinion on at the end of it regarding this other measurement to the planets. It's no big deal. But they're going to try and twist this to make it sound as if he's some terrible, terrible liar. And this is why we've got this stupid video by Lily. This is what it's all about. Just because he said that, what you just heard. Because he said that extra little bit at the end of the citation. So let's just uh, go back a bit, remind ourselves of what Nathan has seen and see what follows from Anthony. So yeah. what you mean is you, you took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. No, that's lying, Nathan. Right, so this is the point you need to bear in mind. According to Anthony, that's lying. No, this is obviously why we're making the video. He's already made a video about it. You know, he's cut his little section out and tried to make a big deal about it on his own channel. But... In their own words, according to Nathan, com quoting something out of context and adding your own spin to it is lying. 
Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So there you go. Nathan and Riley both claiming that quoting out of context and putting your own spin on something is lying. Which is exactly what they've done with Geo, with Jem, and with this quote by Jimmy. So again, let's just hear this exchange and this time I'll let it run on. Uh, I read one le- sentence and I added a tiny bit extra. Is that is that the worst crime ever? So yeah. what you mean is you, you took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. No, that's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So moving a little bit further into the conversation between them, um, we'll hear another interesting little rule set out by Nathan. I'm not allowed to add words to... No! You find us a cited reference and you quote it verbatim. You do- so according to Nathan, you're not allowed to add anything to something. You're not allowed to quote it out of context. You must find a reference and quote it verbatim. And if you do add your own spin to it, that is lying, according to both Nathan and Anthony. Bear that in mind. Let's just hear that again. Add words to... No! You find us a cited reference and you quote it verbatim. You don't add Jimmy's little spin. Right, so... This is the the shit they were given, Jimmy. Just because he added his own couple of words to what, after reading the citation out, he said a few extra words himself to add on to the point... And this is the bullshit he's been given. So, according to their own rules, this is totally disallowed. You must not do it. It is lying. And this is the the basis for their case when they refer to Jimmy as being a liar. So, as we move back to the end of the previous show, the previous hangout, whatever, um, I've made this full screen so you can actually read this quote for yourself. You can see exactly how it ends. And you compare... Anthony reading out the citation and then what he does at the end and compare that to what Jimmy did with the other citation and the other show and how he was treated and the rules that were laid down for him about adding additional information and putting your own spin on the information that you've read in the citation. Thank you. Seeing he derived the size of the solar system and described his results in two papers of citations are given without any reference to Hugens. Thank you. Cassini's, hang on. Cassini's value for the astronomical unit was 11,000 diameters in the earlier paper. Since Hugens and Cassini were working in the same scientific institute, they could scarcely have been ignorant of one another's work. So after reading this citation, Anthony goes on to say this. Uh, it, so it says on the one hand that he didn't use it, but it seems unlikely that they were working in the same institute. So even if we accept for the sake of discussion that they didn't use this assumption, the fact that they were both working together in collusion almost suggests that they probably knew about each other's work. Working together in collusion. Right, so remember, according to Nathan, you're not allowed to put your own spin on something, you're not allowed to add words, you're not allowed to take things out of context. According to both Nathan and Wiley, To do so is to make yourself a liar. The exact quote by Nathan, you find us a cited reference and you quote it verbatim. You do not add your own little spin. So let's hear that again. Cassini's value for the astronomical unit was 11,000 diameters in the earlier paper. Since Hugens and Cassini were working in the same scientific institute, they could scarcely have been ignorant of one another's work. Uh. It says on the one hand that he didn't use it, but it seems unlikely that they were working in the same institute. So even if we accept for the sake of discussion that they didn't use this assumption, the fact that they were both working together in collusion almost suggests that they probably knew about each other's work and did so anyway. So as we've just heard, Anthony read the citation, then added his own spin to it and made up a story about Cassini and Huygens working together in collusion when it actually said that they just worked at the same institute and were probably aware of each other's work. So let's just remind ourselves what it means.
according to Nathan and Riley, to quote a citation and then add your own little spin to the end of it. I want to know what that means. What does that mean, Jimmy? Your edition. It, it means it wasn't in the citation. No, no, not you, Anthony. And not I, you. I read one sentence and I added a tiny bit extra. Is that is that a worst crime ever? So yeah. what you mean is you you took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. No, that's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Since Hugens and Cassini were working in the same scientific institute, they could scarcely have been ignorant of one another's work. Uh, it so it says on the one hand that he didn't use it, but it seems unlikely that they were working in the same institute. So even if we accept for the sake of discussion that they didn't use this assumption, the fact that they were both working together in collusion almost suggests that they probably knew about each other's work and did so anyway. And I, I, I read one le sentence and I added a tiny bit extra. Is that is that a worst crime ever? So yeah. what you mean is you you took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. No, that's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So even if we accept for the sake of discussion that they didn't use this assumption, the fact that they were both working together in collusion almost. You took a section of text and quoted it completely out of context by adding your own spin to it. No, that's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The fact that they were both working together in collusion almost. That's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The fact that they were both working together in collusion. That's lying, Nathan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is.